welcome to Florida Newsmakers. I'm Tremel Gomes with our very special guest, Cynthia O'Connell, the Secretary of the Florida Lottery. Thanks for joining us. So glad to be here. Thank you. Now let's get right to it. You had a record-breaking year with over $5.36 billion in sales. Tell we, us about that. We absolutely did. It was a great year for the Florida Lottery, and we're doing our part to keep our mission to fund education, which is why the voters said yes to a Florida Lottery over 26 years ago. We are, this year's revenues are $5.36 billion, which is a record-setting uh, revenue amount for the Florida Lottery. Uh, last year was just over $5 billion. The year before, just at $4.9 billion. So we're breaking records uh, every year. We have for the last four years. And the reason why is that our voters in the state of Florida, players, visitors, any, everyone can enjoy the Florida Lottery, and we're offering fun and exciting products. Well, usually this happens like with big ticket items like the Powerball or Mega Million, but that wasn't the case this round. So what's the draw? Well, basically, good, no pun intended, what's the draw? <laughs> uh, but what our draw is, is a great portfolio of games. 60 scratch-off games from price points of $1 to $25 uh, that are fun and entertaining and also offer some instant real-time gratification when you scratch that that ticket off, you can be a winner. And we also have second chance drawings with all our games and extend the play of our scratch off games. So it's a lot of fun. We lead the country in scratch off game sales. And as a matter of fact, we're the second largest grossing lottery right behind New York in the country. So number two spot for, for the state of Florida. All right, now share with us some of the history of the Florida Lottery from when voters first approved these games in 1986. Well, thank you. Uh, we went on sale in 1988. And actually when the lottery went on sale, that first uh, per capita run of three or four months, we outpaced the entire country in terms of the highest per caps of any lottery when we launched. I was then the director of promotions and research of the lottery many years ago. They went on to do other, other career paths, but the Florida lottery has always run in th with three main emphasis, key, em key areas of emphasis. Offer a fun, entertaining product, um, operate with transparency and integrity, and create a win-win situation with our retailers. We have over 13,000 retailers, and they're our partners and we make sure that they know that. Now, who really benefits from the, these games? I understand the education system here in Florida. Um, how much is going to the education system from this blockbuster year? Well, from this blockbuster year, um, a little over $1.49 billion. And uh, throughout our history, we've built 800 schools. We've funded K through 12 um, education programs. And of course, all of our money is transferred to Department of Education, and they allocate. Uh, and we raise the revenue, so I want to make that clear. Uh, but we also uh, fund 98% of all Bright Futures uh, scholarships. So we've funded over 650,000 uh, students have gone to the university or community college of their choice in the state of Florida, courtesy of the Florida Lottery. All right. Now, one of your big sellers is um, the scratch-off games. Tell us about those. Scratch-off games are a, a core product for the Florida Lottery. Again, price points between $1 and $25. Um, we have a new series of games called the Jackpot Family of Games that has an amazing payout. payout. Uh, over 70%, the, the average is 70% of any scratch-off game will, be, will go back to prizes. And that's important. Players love to win, and we offer a portfolio of games that offer that. Yeah, and as we wrap up here, let's talk about the integrity of these games. How do you ensure the security um, that when people go out and play that they're going to be able to win safely without worrying about their money going elsewhere? Well, thank you for asking that. Uh, we operate in a very transparent manner. Every draw game for a numbers game that has an actual terminal game base that you have go into our studio, you can see our drawing live. So. Uh, Mr. Citizen, if you want to come see a drawing, you certainly can at Florida Lottery Headquarters. We do, uh, everything is randomized in terms of our ball sets, in terms of our draw machines, all randomized. And we also have an audit team and a security team right there with every drawing to make sure that uh, it operates efficiently and effectively and with complete transparency. In every scratch ticket is embedded so many security measures to ensure that that ticket cannot be tampered with. We even have a forensic unit in the Florida Lottery headquarters that examines tickets that people have tried to tamper with and uh, we can tell immediately that these are non-winning tickets 
or there's a problem with them. So players in the state of Florida can be assured that their lottery is operating with the highest degree of transparency and integrity so that they can go out and buy a ticket and have some fun. Indeed. Well, Lottery Secretary Cynthia O'Connell, thank you so much for joining us. And to our viewers, we'll catch you next time.